שלום עליכם, אסלאמו עליכום, איריני מזיסו, פאקס ווביסקום. פיס בי אונטו, וולקום בק טו דה צ'אנל. אין דיס וידאו, רות' צ'אפטר 3, 18 ורסס, אבל יש הרבה מה להנפק פה. אז אני יכול להגיד שתי וידאוים, אחד על הדיפרנסים בין הסבטואג'נט ומזרטיק, ושני וידאוים, על הדיפרנסים. The uncovering of the feet so let's get into it uh, beginning in verse 4 right into it <laughs> uncovering of the feet uh, this is uh, Ruth uncovering the feet of Boaz so let's look at the context here so they're talking about how he's going to be winnowing the barley this night in the threshing floor uh, but she's Naomi is instructing Ruth to clean herself up, anoint herself, and I think that's probably with perfume or, or oil, I'm not sure, but most likely to make her more presentable, <clears throat> excuse me, put your raiment upon you, it's most likely a, a nice garment, not her working clothes, so get dollied up and go to the threshing floor. Uh, do not make yourself known to Boaz. Uh, essentially, discover yourself is the same thing there. Until he has done eating and drinking. So you let him get a little bit happy or buzzed, perhaps. But not drunk. I don't think he's drunk, but just probably, uh, anyway, happy and sleepy as well. Shall come to pass when he lies down. So these are instructions to uh, Ruth. You shall mark the place where he lies down. So remember where it is. Uh, yada, <laughs> yada, yada. So to know, to know where it is. So mark it down in your mind. Recognize. Put a, a mental bookmark, a mental picture of where, <laughs> where he's sleeping. Keep note of that, where he's sleeping. Uh, and then it says, you shall come up, or you shall come, and lift up the covering of his feet. So notice the difference here in the Septuagint. It's not just talking about un uncovering his feet, but lifting up the covering of his feet. So there is a covering that is identified here. And then you shall lie down, and he shall tell you what you shall do. So she's assuming he's going to wake up. Uh, so I'm going to get into this probably in another video, because I think it's going to be a long uh, explanation. But in a nutshell, I'm going to try to shorten it just for this video, and then you can watch the video, the, the video describing this more in detail. I believe, in my opinion... This has something to do to do with the talit. So I, I'm speculating, in my opinion, Boaz is covering his feet with a talit. And there are historical customs associated with uh, the talit. Uh, there's a servant and master dynamic. There's also a, uh, a marriage dynamic. So I, I don't believe it is a sexual, a sexual symbol. It's more of a... Uh, respect and protection dynamic between a prospective wife and a prospective husband and what a husband is supposed to represent to his wife. So that's all I'll get into for this video. Uh, please watch the video where we dis uh, discuss this in detail, in greater detail. So verse 8 <clears throat> says here, amazed and troubled, so Boaz was amazed and troubled, not uh, not afraid, <laughs> and turning himself, so twisting and turning about. No, he was amazed at what he saw, and he was troubled. Not troubled as in disturbed, but he was moved, perhaps. He was troubled uh, in his heart as to, you know, what is happening? And he stirred up. Verse 11 says here, whatever you shall say, 
versus all that you require. Whatever you shall say, I'll, I will do to you. Okay, so not just all that you need, but whatever you say. So he's very acquiescing, he's very accommodating, uh, Boaz is. And then he, he describes how all the tribe of my people knows you are a virtuous woman versus uh, all the cities. Everybody in the city literally knows. And then we have a footnote in regards to a virtuous woman, and that means literally a woman of strength or power. That's an interesting description because a lot of people would, uh, especially conservative circles, would say this is not a good description, that she's a strong woman and has power. It sounds kind of feminist. No, uh, she's a woman who has strength and power, but in a way that is scriptural, where she is... Uh, fulfilling her role as a woman, but still uh, in servitude and in respect to uh, the role of men. Okay, and the last verse we're going to look at is 16. And this is uh, Naomi reacting when she uh, Ruth returns from that night. Uh, so it seems they were alone, but I'm going to get into that again in the other video. So she's saying, daughter, in verse 16. My daughter, when Ruth uh, comes in to her lodging, versus who are you, my daughter? So she, she does know who it is. She's just exclaiming that... Uh, you know, I can't wait for you to tell me what happened. Your daughter, tell me what happened. Versus, who are you, my daughter? As if she's an old <laughs> senile woman or something that's partly blind. So that's all for this video. Uh, please uh, watch the uh, following video we're going to do uh, shortly uh, after. We're going to upload that one as well. I'm going to be working on this one. It's, it's very important to uh, get into the cultural, historical... A context of, of what this means to uh, uncover someone's feet, uh, specifically in the Septuagint, lifting up the covering of Boaz's feet. So thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, uh, I wish you all Shalom Aleichem, Salamu Aleikum, Eurini uh, Mazisu, Pax Wobiskum, and peace be unto you. Maranatha. <clears throat>